Hello and welcome to uh, today's tutorial. This one is going to be a very quick one. It's about the document automation tool from Power Automate. And let's just dive in. So first we're going to go to the makepowerapps.com site. And within here on our left side, we will see AI Hub. Once we enter the AI Hub, we have our three main themes. So we have our prompts, our AI models, and document automation. For today's tutorial, you want to click on document automation, and then it's going to lead you to powerautomate.com, to the page where we can install our document automation app. Here you can see um, the document automation. So you can click on get started. How does it work? Well, you receive documents, they then extract the main components of these documents for an invoice that would be an amount, a due date, maybe the tax, um, then you can validate it. You can either validate it by machine or yourself, and then you export the data to somewhere you might want to monitor it. So here on your left side, you can see custom documents and invoices. If you don't have it installed yet, there will be a button here that says install. The installment process is really easy. You get guided through it. You don't have to do any customizations. It's just two connections you have to create, and then that's it. And once you have it installed, you have two options here. You can either open the application or view the solution. We will view the solution first to see what's inside of the solution we just installed. Once you're inside your solution, you can see there are many tables. There are six tables in total. These tables are used um, to save the fields we want to extract from the documents. It's also used to save the extracted data and our configuration. We'll have the option within the app to choose different models, different configuration models. Um, so here we have these six tables where all our information gets stored. You don't have to touch them actually. Um, they get populated by themselves. So there's not really much for you to do here. We do have one security role. And we do have three cloud flows. These flows manage how the whole logic operates. So the first step is the email importer. Once we get an email in our email account and there's an attachment within this email, um, the flow takes the attachment, it saves it within our database table, and then um, we can look it up within our app. The next step is the processor. So this is when the AI model gets applicated and the, um, the file we just uploaded will get processed by our AI model. So it will get, in our case, it will get read and we will take out some key phrases or some key fields. And then you have the automation validator. So if the AI model was able to validate all fields, so to find all fields within this um, document, it gets validated um, automatically. But if there's any discrepancy between the training documents and the documents that were imported, maybe we have a different format, maybe there's actually a field missing, then we have to validate it manually. So this is what the validator does for us. And then at the heart of the solution, we have our document automation application. And let's take a look inside now. So once we open our document automation application, we actually only have two main um, parts. The first one is the configuration part. So within here, we can choose which processing model we want to use. There's always the invoice processing model, which comes pre-built with the solution. And then for myself, I created this invoicing process, uh, this invoice processing model, um, because I just wanted to adapt it to my specific needs and to the invoices I will be getting. So here we click on next. And then we can see all our fields mapping. So we can see, okay, we have an IBAN, we have some pricing, we have, um, this is in German now, um, but uh, there's a due date on the payment, uh, there's the receiver of the payment, there's the tax, uh, invoice number, and so on. So all the important fields within an invoice. And then you also have the tables mapping, um, which for now is not really relevant to us. So now we can save this. And we know, okay, we're using this model. And with, within here, we see our documents. So how do our documents end up here? That's quite easy with our, with our flow. It will get pushed in here automatically. So let's do a test. Let's just say we get sent an email. I will send myself an email. So let's attach an invoice in here. Um, we can just attach any invoice we have. I have my invoice number six. Let's say, this is your invoice. 
and we send it. So now what happens in the back is that the Powdermate flow takes this attachment and loads it within my app. So let's go back to the app. Okay, so we clicked refresh and we see our number six here, invoice number six, it's saying extracting data. So the model is now extracting the data, the data from the invoice. And if we click refresh a few times, it will go into validating. And then if it was able to validate all fields, it will say validated like here, or it will ask us to validate manually. So now it says validating data. So now it's checking if all the fields were able to be extracted. And now it's changed to validate it. So let's click on our document and we can see it actually extracted with 99% accuracy our fields. So we have our IBAN, we have the price of, um, <clears throat> of that invoice. We have the tax, the total invoice, who is the account holder, uh, until when we have to pay it and so on. So now we could comment it also and say, okay, this was checked on the 18th of March, just for me and my colleagues. So we know, okay, this was checked, that's, that's a go, we can uh, make this transaction. And that's all, so that's how it works. It's pretty straightforward. You'd only have to install it and then maybe adapt the model a little bit. And that's that. So now in the second part, we will have a look on how to adapt the model for it. So if we go to our um, Power Automate again and our AI Hub, we can see our AI models within here. So let's click on AI models and then on invoice processing. This is the model I created for my invoices. We can see here it's very um, good with our IBAN, with the invoice number and so on. It's having a bit of problems with the date and also the item name. Uh, we could do a quick test here and just upload something from our device or we can edit it. So let's edit this and see what that looks like. We click on edit model. That's creating a new version for us. And then it will guide us through the steps necessary to adapt or also to create a model. The first step is to choose a document type. So it could be a fixed template document. It could be general document or invoices. In our case, we just left it with invoices. The next step is to choose information to extract. So here we will set our fields that we want to extract from our invoice. There are already, because we chose the invoice, there are already some predefined fields like amount due, invoice total, subtotal, total tax, and so on. But we decided to create our own because that's the naming convention we want to follow. And that's the ones we created. So then we click on next. And now we have a collection. So we could have different types of invoices that we want to extract data from. Um, so we can have different collections. I only have one collection now for testing purposes where I uploaded uh, six different invoices, which are basically the same style, uh, but of, of course they have different contents. And then we click next. And now that's for the interesting part. So now we tag them. Each one of these six documents have um, text, they have an invoice number, a person that's uh, the invoice going to and so on. So now we click on this field, for example, the invoice number, and we say, okay, that's the invoice number. We can also change this tag and say, okay, that's not the invoice number, that is a different field. In our, in our case, it's already defined because we're just editing it. But it's as easy as this. So here, for example, we have the 8th of April, 2025. So if you want to have more fields, not just the 8th, say, okay, I want 8, April and 2025. And we say, okay, this is the date field, due date, and that's that, and next. So that's uh, going to be saved, and so on and so on. And then now we have our summary, we have our examples, and we can click on train. And now the model will be training. 
So every time we change something in our model, because we might have a new format, because the invoices are changing, or we have some kind of different document, we adapt our training model and then click on train. The model trains now, it trains itself now. This might take a few minutes. And then afterwards, when we publish it, all the apps and flows that are using this model are automatically using the new version. So that's all about the uh, document automation from Power Automate. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and hope to see you soon. Bye.